now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Recently, your Dr. Anthony Fauci came out to speak against all of the mass shootings going on, calling them an epidemic. And I believe your Dr. Fauci really needs to understand the consequences of cause and effect because this increase in gun violence is due to his flatten the curve theory, I believe. Now, before your lockdowns took place, we were having a big problem with mass shootings all across this country due to America's ongoing man crisis, which we've been dealing with for over the last 20 years. And America really didn't want to acknowledge the problems with the man crisis and still doesn't, but they also don't see the big picture as related to how these lockdowns accelerated the man crisis, which led to this uptick in mass shootings to the point where we had 45 mass shootings in the last 30 days. And the reason why we had 45 mass shootings in the last 30 days is because of an old saying that I heard many years ago. Now, the old saying is, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. And over the course of the pandemic, we had a lot of idle minds due to the proposed lockdowns that were supposed to flatten the curve. Now, these lockdowns, which were supposed to be designed to flatten the curve by closing non-essential businesses and quarantining people all across the globe, this has led to a lot of people being at home. And when you have large populations of people who are sitting at home doing nothing, their minds become idle and those minds start to become a workshop for the devil to manifest himself in. And as the devil manifests his ideas in people's minds that are sitting there idle, what they do is come up with these plans as related to what type of evil they want to do. So when you have people out here who are sitting up all day practically doing nothing but sitting there online listening to conspiracy theories and listening to all sorts of rumors that are on places like social media what happens is those people start thinking about things that they want to do and as they're thinking about things they want to do they're not thinking of good things to do so this is one of the things that makes that old adage true and that old adage comes i believe from the bible because again the most high living god made man in for a certain reason and he made him with a certain purpose and when you have millions of men sitting around absolutely idle you're taking them out of god's purpose because God designed the man to go out here and work, and he designed the man to go out here and do labor. And when you have the man, and he's not doing labors out here and taking care of business, then you have an idle mind, and an idle mind is goes completely against the Most High God, and that idle mind becomes a workshop for Satan to come up with all sorts of ideas and all sorts of mischief to do. And in the case of these mass shooters, as they're sitting there listening to conspiracy theories or listening to ideas that are proposed in their own mind by the devil, because when you're sitting home alone for long periods of time and the only person you have to listen to is yourself, then you start to believe that everything you say is making logical sense because you have nobody there to vet or try to filter the ideas from. And because you have nobody there to vet 
and filter these ideas, you start to believe that these ideas you have are actually things you can logically do and make perfect logical sense. And this is what happens to many of the beta males out here. They sit here at, during these lockdowns coming up with these conspiracy theories, these ideas, and they, they use these as motivations to go out here and do harm to others. And then they go out here and implement these plans that they have. But this was something that many in government weren't, weren't thinking about because they were thinking about flattening the curve, a short-term goal, but not thinking about the longer-term consequences, which would be people having to deal with an increases in divorces, which is what we're seeing, an increase in domestic violence, and an increase in people's mental health deteriorating, and a lot of people who were already on the brink and struggling, they became men who were already in crisis, but their crisis wound up further getting accelerated because many in government, all they were thinking about was this theory of flattening the curve, but not really understanding the long-term impact of extended isolation on the human mind. Because yes, you wanted to keep the body healthy, but if the mind is not kept active and the man is not given any sort of sense of purpose, then you're going to have a group of males out here who are already deeply troubled due to the man crisis becoming further more troubled because now they look at the economy where 50% of the people are unemployed and they see 50% of the jobs going out and never coming back and that gives those men next to no hope and them feeling like there is no future for them so a lot of these people in government, they really were not thinking about the big picture as related to things, and they do, they're still in denial about the consequences of, this, of these lockdowns and their long-term impact on people's mental health and on people's whole well-being because economics has a major impact on people's mental stability. If people don't believe that they're able to pay their bills and keep a roof over their head. This has an effect on their minds, and this is one of the things that is leading to people feeling like they are on the edge and extremely tense. And this is one of the things that many in your government really are not paying attention to because they're not really thinking critically about it. I believe some of these people are so caught up in the power that they have and the attention they are receiving in the mainstream media that they're not thinking about how this is impacting the average everyday American. And they're looking at the reaction, which is these mass shootings escalating and talking about gun control. But this is not a gun control issue. When you have people who are already on the brink economically about to lose their homes about and have no money and then you have them again this man crisis going on where a lot of these men were on the edge before this you have a group of people again who have stated before have absolutely nothing to lose and this ticking time bomb which was which was had a clock that was going somebody you just cut the blue wire and accelerated the clock and now the clock is just at the near of at the one second mark and that's why we're seeing so many of these mass shootings escalating all across the country because people are frustrated people are angry people don't have jobs they don't know that there's going to be any sort of stability and when you have people like this they feel like they have nothing to lose and they would rather go out in a blaze of glory in infamy rather than try to be patient and wait things out the way your Dr. Fauci and many in the government want them to do. And many, again, were not thinking about the big picture as related to this whole social upheaval. They were thinking short-term, not thinking long-term. 
And that's one of the big problems with our government and many of the people in it is they think short term and they think only about the things that are what they ex are, that are, are what they think are beneficial now, but never think about the things that are later. And again, when you have large groups of people who are idle, it's not really good for a country or even a world because large populations of idle people become a devil's workshop. And I've seen this firsthand here in the South Bronx when the welfare state was in effect. And I grew up seeing people on welfare when you have large populations of people who are sitting around for extended periods of time and they have nothing to do. What they do is they look to go out here and do harm to others. And in the black community, and again, in the welfare state, you had guys, this is why you have Pookie and Ray Ray looking to fight over a girl who is, they think is attractive because they don't have any sort of purpose or any sort of direction. So these guys, because they don't have anything that they're working for that gives them purpose or gives them a sense of value, they go out here and fight for little things that mean nothing in the long term because they don't have any sort of goal to work towards. So when you have large populations of people just sitting around all day, this is why people will be beefing and arguing in the street or getting mad about the way somebody looked at them because they are, again, an idle mind and that idle mind is a devil's workshop and this is where you get guys coming up with all sorts of crazy again stuff that they're doing this is why you have guys in the suburbs they will collect large arsenals of guns they have they have nothing to do and again this is why fathers always gave their sons something to do because the father understood that a man's purpose is to work and I have to give him some work to do in order to keep his mind occupied because when a man has an occupied mind, it's not an idle mind and that mind won't be thinking about doing something stupid or doing something crazy because he's working towards something and he also has to be, he's also going to be accountable to that father. But because we've had a large population of men growing up without fathers, people don't really understand the whole concept of an idle mind because a man understands why a man needs to work, why a man needs to be busy, and why a man needs to be active. Because when a man is sitting around, or a group of men are sitting around, and they're just coming up with crazy ideas, there might be a possibility that they will act on those ideas or further formulate more plans to act on those ideas. And that's something, again, many people really aren't thinking about. All they're doing is saying, oh, this is, um, we have to do, we have to flatten the curve. But no, if you don't deal with an idle mind, it's going to be a major problem. And it's going to be a problem that's going to undermine all of your progress because idle minds are extremely dangerous because they run counter to what the Most High God created man to be. He created the man to labor. He created the man to work. He created the man to do labors. And he created the man to do this because he wants the man to do his work on earth. Because when the man is working, he is working towards his purpose. And when he works towards God's purpose, he's feeling that sense of purpose, which gives him value, which gives him worth. And when a man is sitting around all day and he's doing nothing, then he feels worthless. And that's why he wants to go out and destroy the world, because he feels like he can't build anything he can't accomplish anything, and if he can't build or accomplish anything, 
this is what frustrates him and leads to the devil coming in and telling him to go out here to kill, to steal, and destroy. And this is what makes an idle mind extremely accessible to the devil because that's where people craft their plans to do his work on earth, which is death and destruction. And this is something many, again, in your government aren't really thinking about because many in our government these days aren't spiritual and because they're not spiritual and don't think about the Most High and all they're thinking about is social justice, they don't understand that, again, the most dangerous thing for a man to have is an idle mind because that devil's workshop leads to him participating in destructive violence which harms everybody all across the country. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, and my Cash App because this video will not be monetized. And if you wanted to pick up some of my positive fiction, like the ISIS series, the East Eve series, the John Haynes series, and the books of the Spinsterella trilogy, you can find those books on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. That's all I have to say for this video. You comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for the first time in paperback, why 70% of black women are single. Learn all the reasons why so many black women can't find a husband, why 70% of black women are single. Get your copy of why 70% of black women are single on Amazon.com today.